Hello, I'm Dr. Darrell Floyd, Superintendent of Enid Public Schools. The proposed February 9th Enid Public School bond election has been designed to address critical needs for Enid Public School students, including more classrooms to address projected enrollment growth, safer schools, more reliable transportation, and improved technology. Before the vote Tuesday, February 9th, let's take a closer look at the many issues that the bond proposal seeks to improve. This bond proposal was developed through a very comprehensive strategic planning process that gathered input from well over a thousand people across our community. The district gathered feedback through surveys, public meetings, and focus groups, including input from each campus to ensure that the community's needs and concerns were all addressed. The result is a bond proposal which addresses facility needs and improvements at all sites, including adding new classrooms to accommodate student growth, providing critical safety features, and upgrading playgrounds. The significant technology improvements in the plan will also ensure that every student is prepared to succeed in the digital age by enabling us to reach our goal of a one-to-one -one technology initiative. And the transportation piece will allow us to replace our highest mileage and oldest buses in the fleet and provide more reliable and ADA accessible transportation. The Indy Public School District is growing fast and our facilities need to grow with it. Our student population has grown by 25% since 2003, that's an increase of 1,600 students, and it is projected to grow another 1,500 students by 2023. Without these proposed infrastructure accommodations and improvements, multiple campuses in our school district will be over capacity by 2019, including three out of four of our secondary school campuses. As a result, this bond issue proposes adding additional classrooms to many sites across the district in order to meet both our current and our future needs. Student safety is always a major concern for both the school district and the community alike. The bond proposal plans to improve classroom locks, secure school entrances, update visitor management systems, and improve playground safety materials. Transportation upgrades, including ADA accessible buses, will make sure every student has a safe ride to and from school. Technology is an integral part of our daily lives and it has become a necessity that students know how to utilize these tools safely and effectively. Our one-to-one -one technology initiative means that each student will have access to portable technology devices. One student, one device, endless possibilities. Research shows us that skills-based learning and extracurricular activities help students stay in school, stay involved in their school, and stay invested in their education. The proposed construction of an extracurricular fine arts center and a competition gym at Enid High School will provide the infrastructure needed to support these students, their school, and our community as a whole. Now let's talk about how EPS compares to other peer districts regarding bonded indebtedness and sinking funds per student. Annually, EPS currently spends $465 less per student than our peer districts. That places us last on that list. If this bond issue passes, we would move up to only third from the bottom of that list. And if the bond election passes, the average homeowner in our community would see an increase of only about $7.50 per month given current net assessed values. As I mentioned earlier, improvements at every campus in our district are included in this bond proposal, which means that every student and every campus will benefit. Please visit your school site at enidpublicschools.org schools to see all of the specifics about what the bond proposal includes for each site. Again, the bond issue vote will take place Tuesday, February 9th, and early voting will take place on February 4th and February 5th. Please don't forget to vote.